Alright, so this is the LC209, a brand new smartwatch branded as Akumaka, with a 1.85 inch LCD display and phone calls functionality. It's a budget watch, but it's got premium sporty design that makes it one of the best looking budget watches I've seen in 2023. In this video I'm going to show you everything you want to know about the LC209 including heart rate, blood oxygen and step tracking accuracy as well as all its features. But first, let's take a peek at what's in the box. We'll unbox our pink and black LC209s together, excited to compare. Inside the box we found the watches with attached magnetic straps, a USB magnetic charging cable, a set of spare soft silicone straps and instruction manuals. That's all you need to get started. No bells and whistles, but who needs them? The LC209 has a minimalistic design with a premium anodized aluminium body and reinforced glass screen. It's clearly inspired by Apple Watch, but that's not a bad thing. It's got a soft silicone magnetic straps, which is a cool alternative to standard straps. Both magnetic and silicone straps are comfortable and never cause irritation during our testing. It's also replaceable with any 22mm straps. On the back of the watch you'll find the speaker, microphone, heart rate and SpO2 sensors and magnetic charging pins. On the right side there's a multifunctional rotary crown that you can use to navigate through the menus, select apps, adjust settings and turn the watch on and off. The watch is splash and sweat resistant and can withstand swimming in shallow water. It even has a feature that spits out the water from mic and speaker holes after getting wet. However, I wouldn't recommend scuba diving with it. The Glorifit app is free and easy to use and it's compatible with iPhone and Android phones. It offers essential features like health stats, alarms, reminders and notifications. You'll need to connect the watch to the companion app to set up the time, tracking preferences, sports targets and watch personalization. When you first install the app, confirm all notification requests to ensure full functionality of the watch. Then create a profile and enter your gender, age, height and weight for accurate tracking. Once done, the watch is ready to use. The watch has a bright 1.85 inch LCD display with 368 by 448 pixels resolution and 2.5D Gorilla Glass protection. The display lacks a fingerprint resistant coating, so it's a fingerprint magnet. It has five adjustable brightness levels, but no adaptive brightness. Navigating the watch is easy. You can use a combination of the crown on the right hand side and swiping across the screen. The watch is responsive to both input methods. There are three types of menus to choose from, so you can customize the watch to your liking. You can also customize the look on the display by downloading one of the over 200 optional watch faces from the companion app or by creating your own using any photo or image from your phone. The watch has over 110 sports modes, including popular ones like walking, running and cycling, and more specialized ones like climbing, basketball, badminton and yoga. It doesn't have a built-in GPS, but you can use your phone's GPS to track your location during workouts. To test the step counting accuracy, we used a manual tally counter to count 1000 steps. Manual tally counters are more accurate than electronic devices because they are not affected by environmental factors like uneven terrain or temperature, plus they are less likely to malfunction. I was curious if these non-GPS watches would be accurate since they only have accelerometers and gyroscopes to count steps. Here we got the readings. The pink watch tracked 2 steps extra out of 1000 steps, which is incredibly accurate so it's not perfect but it's close enough. My black watch also tracked surprisingly accurately, over counting by 3 steps out of 1000. Right, let's check out the heart rate and oxygen saturation tracking accuracy of the watch. And before we carry on, make sure you're subscribed. To test the heart rate and SpO2 accuracy, we compared the watch to a medical pulse oximeter. In the first trial, my wife measured her resting heart rate. The watch measured 110 beats per minute and the pulse oximeter recorded 108 beats per minute. This is a bit higher than a normal resting rate, but it could be due to the caffeine or other factors. My watch measured my resting heart rate at 62 beats per minute, the same as the pulse oximeter. 
Next, we tested the watch's heart rate tracking during a light workout. My wife did some spin on her stationary bike. This will be a more challenging test for both watches as they will need to measure and capture rapidly changing heart rate. My wife's heart rate peaked at 144 beats per minute right after the workout, but the watch's heart rate tracking was pretty close to the pulse oximeters. At the end of the measurement, her heart rate was 115 beats per minute on the watch and 110 beats per minute on pulse oximeter. That's not bad. My heart rate also tracked closely with the pulse oximeter after the workout. Both devices recorded my heart rate at 87 beats per minute at the end of the workout. I'm happy with the results. Next, we tested the watch's SpO2 tracking. My wife's SpO2 reading was 98% on the watch and 99% on the pulse oximeter. That's very good. My SpO2 reading is also 98% on both the watch and the oximeter. Overall, the LC209 seems to be a pretty accurate heart rate and SpO2 tracker, but it's important to remember that it's not a medical device, so don't rely on it for life or death decisions. The sleep tracking in LC209 isn't perfect. It uses the PPG sensors to track sleep time, wake up time, light sleep and deep sleep. It's not always accurate, especially if you go to bed late or have an irregular sleep schedule. But it can still give you a good general idea of your sleep habits. You can make Bluetooth phone calls with this watch and the sound quality is good and loud. It allows you to import your contacts from your phone and also has a call history. The mic and the speaker are also used with a voice assistant from your phone. To use the speaker in the watch with the assistant and to listen to music, you'll need to turn on media in the sound and vibration settings. Let's test it out. What is the meaning of reality? This is the definition of reality. The world or the state of things as they actually... The watch also has a bunch of other features like notifications, music playback controls, stopwatch, timer, find my phone, breathing exercises and menstrual cycle tracking. You can read notifications and control music playback on this watch, but you can't reply to the messages. The wearable has a long-lasting battery that can last you for nearly two weeks on a single charge, even with Bluetooth constantly enabled. That's pretty impressive for the budget smartwatch. It takes around an hour to charge and it doesn't have wireless charging, but hey, it's a budget watch. So, the LC209 is a sleek and stylish booted smartwatch with a long-lasting battery and a variety of features, including Bluetooth calling, notifications alerts and accurate sports and health tracking. The sleep tracking isn't perfect, but it's a common issue with basic smartwatches. Overall, the LC209 is a great choice for anyone looking for a stylish and functional smartwatch at an affordable price. You can get the watch on Amazon, we've included the links in the video description. We received these watches for free from Akumaka for testing purposes, but all of the tests and opinions expressed in this video are our own, and we are not affiliated with Akumaka in any way, so you can be sure it's a real thing. If you have any questions, requests or just want to say hi, leave us a comment below. We always love hearing from you. Yeah. Okay guys, that's it for today, thanks for watching.